Well, pet owners who can't afford big vet bills have a place to turn to make sure their pets receive the care they need. It is a local vet clinic that is also a nonprofit organization. News Channel East Brianda Villegas joins us live from the Harmony Vet Clinic in town and country with the story. Brianda. Hey, thanks guys. So while their town and country location has closed up shop for the evening, I did get to talk to staff earlier today and they tell me that for some families, taking their pets here is the last thing that they can do in order for them to save their lives. This is Luna. Many of us consider our pets members of the family. When we got her, she was so small and so fluffy. It felt like you were holding a cloud. The same goes for 13 year old Logan and his cat Luna. She's four and her personality is um, drama queen. This week, Luna is just getting a regular checkup at Harmony. Oh, wow. But she did need more care in the past. For when she ate a lizard and got worms. It's great that there's an affordable option that people can get the care they need for their pets. Um, so many people just can't afford it, so they don't do anything about it, and the pet suffers for it. Luna is just one of Harmony's many patients. The nonprofit has been helping pets for over six years now with regular checkups, vaccines, emergencies. We are able to do surgeries that other people are charging, you know, five, six grand. We're able to do it for less than half the cost. And even dental procedures to make sure your doggo's teethers are good and healthy. We really just want people to get in and get what they can without, you know, breaking the bank because I know sometimes it can be really hard. So I'm just, I'm glad that we're able to do that. Easing the stress for many families like Luna's so all they have to worry about is living their best lives and... So that she can keep on being a drama queen. So Harmony not only has a Tampa location here in town and country, they also have one in Carrollwood and in Brandon. And also coming up in April, they are opening up a fourth location in Oldsmore. So this is really good news for pet owners out there because we know those fur balls can get really expensive. Oh, I'll send no, it back to no you. Doubt. Even that dental uh, work they do, they have to put them under for under, that. Yeah. And that takes a while and that's a lot of money. So yeah. it's good to see all these options.